most people go through a kooky phase, a really selfish phase, a terrible phase. But what happens when you just don't grow out of it? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denango, and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, Reckless Girls. This book was written by Rachel Hawkins. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller. And boy, oh boy, was it a thriller. Reckless Girls is the title. It's Reckless Boys. It's Reckless Girls. It's Reckless Teenagers. Everybody reckless. It's like, can y'all get it together? <laughs> Please. Nico, Lux, Ama, Jackie, what, what, is the, what is the problem? Can we get stuff going? Can we get things together? So there was a really big pivotal moment in the book where someone says, this isn't murder. Now, that's explained in the, in the cover, right? So I'm not giving away the entire story to mention that someone says something about murder. I'm not telling you who, where, what, whatever. <laughs> so there is a line in the book where someone says, this doesn't count as being harmful because they harmed me first. And that really made me think about everything I know about crimes, about mens rea, about having motive, because I am a lawyer. I went to law school and so I have all this legal background and I'm like, no, 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 no. Black is right, but it's not. Law school teaches you that it's gray and you have to write law so that people can say there's black and white, but there's always a little gray. This book was all gray, <laughs> all gray, because you can pretty much rationalize anything. And these characters were like, it can't be harmful. It can't be bad. If that person ever provoked me, if that person never did anything to me, if this never happened, then I would never want to do something else. Cause and effect. You pushed me, I fell down. So it's like, man, what a compelling story about what would you do when no one is watching, right? That's supposed to be the definition of integrity, the um, paraphrase definition of integrity. But I really was thinking about that a lot while reading this book because I'm like, they have a good point and I see where they're coming from. However, there's gotta be more to it than that. There's gotta be. And this book will really make you think about all the blurred lines, all of the gray that happens from black and white and what happens when things get messy in real life. So it was definitely suspenseful, definitely thrilling because of that, okay? So this book was really important to me because it really, really played with your mind. It played with all the blurred lines, all the black versus white, all of the shades of gray that you find when you get people involved, when you get emotions, when you get different personalities and friendships involved. So for that, this book was really, really compelling and really, really interesting and good to read. So coming off of a sentence that this book was really great to read, would I reread it? I can't. I, I would not reread it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because when you're in law school, the whole time you're in school, all of your exams are hypotheticals. If this happened, what would Mary do? If that happened, what would Brittany do? What would you do if this, this? And I'm reading the book and I'm processing like that. And I'm just like, what if, what if, what if, what if? I was so jumpy reading the book. So no, I would not reread it but I really did enjoy reading it, right? And that's just my personal preference. Feel free to read the book and tell me, girl, you are crazy, I'll reread this book every day. I have plenty of books that I would reread all the time that will probably surprise you. Maybe not if you're watching a lot of other videos in this playlist. <laughs> so with that said, thank you for hanging out with me today on Kyla's Reading Day as we discuss the book, Reckless Girls. Let me know, have you read anything by Rachel Hawkins? She's written a ton, a ton of things. And she really has an interesting way of storytelling that just keeps you hooked. So get in the comments, talk to me and let me know what's going on and how you're feeling about the book, Reckless Girls. So until next time, I will see you with another book on Kyla's Reading Day. <laughs> Bye.